Hey guys, it's Musa from Aussie Four Wheelers and welcome to another vlog. In this video I'm going to show you how to change an engine pressure sensor on a Hemi motor. I sat in a car one day, turned it on and an engine light came on, checked the code and it read engine pressure sensor. So I ended up going out and buying one and um, this is what it looks like. Sits underneath the engine, so you access it from the bottom. You need a deep socket, the 27, it's a 27 millimeter socket. And the 27 millimeter that I had used to come up to just here where the hex starts. So I ended up going and buying another socket that can fit the whole sensor. That's enough to grab without damaging that part where we need to plug the wiring back in and um, so yeah now I'm going to put the car on the ramps a little bit I'm sloping down uh, from the street so that's a good thing so I can put the ramps down on the lower part and drive on them so I can have a little bit more clearance underneath I'm still crippled still on the crutches as you can see I'm a little bit better now I'm putting 50-50% pressure on each leg just to keep you updated, that's from my last checkup. I'm so glad I'm almost there, starting to walk and run around again without these crutches. So yeah, I'll um, drive the car up the ramps and start doing this job. Uh, this is a right hand drive, bear in mind, so if you look at the steering rack it's sort of just above the steering rack that switch location there it is that's the switch we need to take out and put the new one in there so you got those that red clip, it's got to be undone and then clipped out of the of its spot and basically socket over that. There you go. Undone. Undo and then put the new one back in. So I got a knuckle on the 27 with an extension bar. And there it is, it's on there. Just gotta undo. It was very easy to undo. The rest I'll do slowly by hand. Yeah, it started. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Alright, got it on. Just got to do it quickly, I guess. Oh, shit, it's coming down my arms. That's it. Now put that wire connector back on. There you go. Done.
perfect. Right in the safe area. Our codes are clear. Now we we'll start the car. And no more engine light. And that's how you change the engine oil pressure sensor. I hope it was uh, done in quite a good detail. I hope it helps anyone else out there that needs to change one. If you ever get stuck with anything, feel free to comment in the sections below and um, I'll answer your questions. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope to see you tune in the next one. Thank you.